China's military prowess is undeniable, and their latest creation, the TB-001 twin-tailed scorpion drone, is a testament to their technological advancements. This behemoth of a machine, capable of carrying a payload of anti-tank missiles and cruising at high altitudes for extended periods, is poised to shift the balance of power in the region, leaving the world on edge. Join us as we delve deeper into the capabilities, implications, and controversies surrounding the TB-001, China's latest weapon in the race for technological superiority. This behemoth of a machine is a game-changer in the world of unmanned aerial vehicles, boasting a range of capabilities that have the potential to shake up the balance of power in the region. The TB-001 is a clear demonstration of China's technological advancements in the field of military drones. Its ability to carry a payload of anti-tank missiles and stay airborne for extended periods is a cause for concern for neighboring nations. But the TB-001 isn't just about raw power, it's also a testament to China's strategic thinking and ambitions. This drone is designed to operate at high altitudes, beyond the reach of most surface-to-air missiles. It's a clear signal that China is preparing for potential conflicts and wants to maintain an edge over its adversaries. Join us as we delve deeper into the capabilities, implications, and controversies surrounding the TB-001, China's latest weapon in the race for technological superiority. As China anticipates potential conflict with Taiwan and potential confrontations with the U.S. military, it's bolstering its military capabilities. Presently, the Asian powerhouse possesses the largest and most varied assortment of drone systems globally, encompassing both stealth and non-stealth variants, as well as jet and propeller-powered models. Among these, the standout is the TB-001, also known as the Twin-Tailed Scorpion, the flagship product of the Tangdong Company. Join us as we delve deeper into the capabilities, implications, and controversies surrounding the TB-001, China's latest weapon in the race for technological superiority. Introduced in the middle of 2017, the TB-001 is part of a new generation of Chinese military drones designed for armed reconnaissance missions. One standout feature is its ability to carry up to eight 100-pound anti-tank missiles. In 2022, the TB-001 was captured on camera, loaded with a variety of air-to-ground munitions, including 12 AGM ordnance, with five on each wing and two air-to-surface missiles mounted underneath. But that was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what this drone can do. Tangoan, a Chinese company established in 2016, has quickly made a name for itself in both military and commercial markets by introducing innovative technologies. With their expertise and technical know-how, they have the potential to revolutionize the drone industry. Within six months of its inception, Tangoan had the TB-001 prototype, also known as TB-328, in the air. According to industry sources, in January 2020, the drone performed an automatic takeoff from a civilian airport in southwestern China, flew a pre-programmed route for 25 minutes, and autonomously landed and taxied for inspection. By 2021, the TB-001 was in active service with the People's Liberation Army. This medium-altitude long-endurance drone is equipped with three engines. According to the company's specifications, the prototype is based on a 10 by 3.3 meter twin boom airframe with a wingspan of 20 meters. Let's dive into the differences between the TB-001 and its predecessor, the BZK-005, the first UAV made by the company. The TB-001, a larger twin-engine Scorpion, stands out with its unique features. Unlike the BZK-005, it boasts a twin boom tail design and a forward-mounted turbocharged piston engine, driving three bladed propellers on each side. But that's not all. There's a third push propeller positioned at the end of the main fuselage, a move quite unusual in drone design. The aft of the drone is distinguished by a double vertical tail connected by a high tailplane, providing a sturdy structure. 
The landing gear setup includes main undercarriage located right aft of the engines, while the retractable nose gear adds to its sleek design. In terms of performance, the TB001 shines with a range of 6 to 8,000 kilometers and a maximum flight time of 35 hours. With a maximum takeoff weight exceeding 3,000 kilograms and a service ceiling of 32,808 feet, it's built for endurance and altitude. What sets it apart even further is its flight altitude, surpassing the effective interception range of short-range surface-to-air missiles, ensuring safer operations. This drone isn't designed for stealth operations but packs heavy weaponry. Its primary purpose isn't to autonomously engage long-range threats like surface-to-air missiles or enemy aircraft. Instead, it shines in providing ground support when enemy air power or anti-air defenses are weakened or occupied with other engagements. Inside its fuselage, you'll find flight control systems, mission equipment, and a data link connected to a synthetic aperture radar SAR, module positioned below. Additionally, it boasts a stabilized electro-optical infrared turret underneath adaptable to specific customer needs for payload. One standout feature is its electro-optical tracking system, situated ahead of the ventral missile launchers. This allows the TB-001 to act as a bomb truck, capable of targeting and eliminating clusters of ground threats efficiently. In such scenarios, it can swiftly deploy its payload and return, aided by its own tracking system, and coordinated efforts with other friendly assets like stealth drones, fighter jets, or ground units. The TB-001 was purpose-built as an armed drone, unlike the BZK-005, which focused on intelligence gathering. It comes equipped with four underwing hardpoints and a sensor turret underneath. This setup allows the TB-001 to provide support to ground assets in various ways. It can complement lightly armed or mobile ground units, while also enhancing the firepower of heavily armed friendly forces. In certain scenarios, coordinated strikes involving ground forces and the TB-001 can neutralize air defenses while the drone targets bunkers, command centers, or armored vehicles threatening land territory. Armed with 20-kilogram AR-2 air-to-ground missiles, the TB-001 can take out light vehicles, enemy ground troops, and more. For heavier targets or fortifications, Chinese engineers developed the 80-kilogram PL-4 air-to-ground missile. This missile surpasses the American-built Hellfire with its range of 20 kilometers, altitude of 7,000 meters, and the ability to use infrared TV or millimeter wave radar seekers. While the TB-001 has shown its worth in the military market, Tangod also sees potential in commercial and civilian sectors. By making a few adjustments, the drone can carry non-military cargo, demonstrating its versatility for specific missions. However, not everyone sees the TB-001 in a positive light, as JASDF, the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, might attest. Over the course of three days, three drones operated by China's People's Liberation Army were spotted near Okinawa. Responding swiftly, the JASDF dispatched fighter jets to monitor the intrusion in the East China Sea and the Miyako Strait. The unusual activity began on August 24, 2021, when a lone Scorpion drone entered the waters northwest of the Japanese island. The following day, a Harbin BZK-00 conducted sorties through the strait, followed by another TB-001 on the third day. These intercepts highlight not only the evolving UAV capabilities of the Chinese military, but also the strategic importance of the Maritime Passage, particularly concerning the broader Western Pacific Ocean and Taiwan's territory. The TB-001's potential for attacking land targets in the region is significant. Already, the drone has embarked on operational sorties, flying over the East China Sea independently, and then through the Miyako Strait, escorted by Shanxi Y-9 aircraft. The Taiwan Defense Ministry reported that a TB-001 drone, a Chinese combat drone capable of carrying heavy weapons, flew around Taiwan. 
This drone was among 19 military aircraft that entered Taiwan's air defense identification zone within a span of 24 hours. The TB-001 conducted a rare full circuit around the island, starting by crossing the Bashi Channel, which separates Taiwan from the Philippines. It then flew along Taiwan's eastern coast before returning towards the Chinese coast. Chinese state media has dubbed the TB-001 as the twin-tailed scorpion and showcased it carrying missiles under its wings, highlighting its capability for high-altitude long-range missions. While China's Air Force frequently sends aircraft into Taiwan's air defense identification zone, complete circuits around the island are infrequent. These flights did not result in any engagement, and Chinese aircraft did not breach Taiwan's airspace. The Air Defense Identification Zone, ADIZ, is a broader area monitored by Taiwan to enhance response time to potential threats. Over the past three years, China has intensified military pressure on Taiwan in an attempt to assert sovereignty claims over the democratically governed island. Taiwan's government asserts its independence from China and insists that the island's fate should be determined by its people. Recent tensions escalated when China conducted war games around Taiwan following a meeting between Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen and Kevin McCarthy, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, in Los Angeles. These drills included the deployment of an aircraft carrier strike group led by the Shandong, one of China's two aircraft carriers. Japan's Defense Ministry, which monitors regional activity, reported a record 600 and 20 fighter jet launches from the Shandong over 18 days. Since 2022, Chinese military aircraft have regularly crossed the unofficial median line of the Taiwan Strait, disregarding its significance as a barrier between the two sides, although China claims it does not recognize this boundary. These new drones enable China to gather various types of intelligence in the strategic strait including mapping electronic emissions from air defense systems and imaging vessels of interest using detailed radar maps. Given the regular passage of Chinese carrier fleets through the strait, the drone's aerial capabilities are crucial. While the Chinese model is comparable to the American MQ-1 to MQ-9 class, China boasts more advanced systems currently in operation or in development. Nonetheless, the presence of the twin-tailed scorpion keeps the entire region on alert, even as it performs non-combat tasks. But we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this incredible drone? Share your insights, questions, and reactions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. We've got plenty more exciting videos coming your way, covering the most fascinating and innovative developments in the world of aviation and beyond. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.